What is up guys, Joe Holland here. I am pan fishing in Maine. Gonna go after one of my absolute favorite species to catch, pumpkin seed sunfish. We don't have a lot of sunfish in Maine, but we do have pumpkin seeds. We do have some bluegill in the southern part of the state and I'm starting to find some hybrids too. So we're going for a crappie, we're going for pumpkin seeds and we'll take any bass that bites too. But for the most part, we're gonna be sight fishing them today probably 90% using our eyes visually directly at the fish and then the other 10% sight fishing them with the live scope um, the ones that are offshore we got we're a little bit post spawn we still have some males in garden beds we still have sunfish coming in to eat fry to eat eggs we have crappie doing the same thing so they're a little bit shallow this is like late spring pre-summer bite right now should be an awesome bite we're looking for anything nine inches or bigger on the pumpkin seed and we're looking for anything 13 inches or bigger on crappie both will get you like a master angler for a fish donkey tournament that i'm in an online catch and release tournament that i'm pretty excited about getting that started now lures for today we're going a little bit of a mix between plastics jig heads and we're even going to mix in some live worms these Pumpkin seeds sometimes are real finicky. If they're under like eight inches or so, they're hard to get on anything other than like a real, real tiny jig head or a live worm. And it's real fun sight fishing them with a live worm too. We're gonna mix in both. And then for crappie, we're gonna be mostly throwing a uh, triple tickle tail. These are the two colors I'm gonna be throwing today. This one is my absolute favorite on crappie, sunfish, even bass this time of year because it's called Wally World. This is a triple triple tickle tail, just a two inch by Kalins. But if you look at it, I'm gonna see if that'll zoom in. It's got all the colors of a pumpkin seed. It's got the orange belly, green back, fluorescent, incandescent tail. The only thing it's missing is maybe a little blue, but you got that blue in with the green. The fish that are up here chewing on bedding, sunfish are eating, this is what they're eating right here. These are your baby sunfish. So any baby sunfish that come in to eat eggs, they're gonna get eaten by the bigger, bigger predator fish. Any that come in or any that are just spawned this year are gonna get eaten too. So it's really a triggering color. It triggers those predators to bite. So that's one of my favorites, that's Wally World. I'm putting that on just a little tiny jig head. This is just black and silver. It mimics like all of our bait fish here in Maine, like our shiners and, and similar in Maine. And that's got like a little bit of a yellow tail too, like a little tint to the tail. And that one's the same thing. So it's two inch, it's got a little tiny paddle tail, and it's got all these little, little ribs on the side that add to the vibration as you're just slowly reeling that in. So that one, I'm actually gonna mix, I'm gonna put that one on a Google Eye spinner jig by Acme. That one adds some flash, it adds a little bit of weight for me, and I can work it like in and out of brush, around rocks, and cover a lot of water with that. So that's the color I'm mixing with that one. The other one, I'm going a little bit more finesse when I'm not in the wind. When I'm in the wind, I'm throwing this thing for the weight, for the flash, for the feel of it. When I'm not in the wind, I'm usually throwing the more finesse tactic. One of the goals today is to bring home a bucket full of crappie. This is a really good lake for that because there's not a lot of giants in here, but there's a lot of like 12 to 13, 13 and a half. So I'm going to call out some of those, bring those home for, I got neighbors, I got Donnie, I got a lot of people. My parents love eating crappie now. So I guess I'm the man to bring them to them. And I also fly them. So it's a good deal for those guys. If we get any pumpkin seeds hooked deep, I'll bring those home, but I actually don't want to take too many of the pumpkin seed out of here just because it's such a fun fishery. And my good buddy Wayne showed me this fishery and taught me how to fish it. And I'm kind of expanding on it with a live scope and I'm looking for some offshore trees where the crappie might get bunched up in. That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Big, big pumpkin seed. Once they put their shoulders into it, they are quite the fighters. Nice one there, guys. First one of the day, and we got a big one. <laughs> That's awesome. That might even go for a... Uh, I don't think he'll make nine, but I bet you he's close. Let's check. Super, super, super pretty fish. Being...
Oh yeah, he makes nine. Pretty easy. So we're gonna get him entered for uh, a fish donkey tournament we're in. Yeah. Mouth shut. All right, then you gotta take a picture with it. And then a video releasing it. All right, we got a nine and a quarter inch pumpkin seed going back. There it goes. Good way to start the day with a over nine inch pumpkin seed. Beautiful fish. Like a big old bullheaded fish when they get to that size. They stop kind of growing in Maine right around that nine inch mark. They stop growing long. And then they just put on the, the beef and the shoulders. But he ate just a little piece of trout worm. And we're going to go down the bank and keep working. Whoa, that one's got some cool colors. That's got some really cool colors. Bear hook. <laughs> Look at how pretty that one is. Wow, got him on a bear hook too. That was pretty cool. Man, they don't get any prettier than that one right there. You're too little to be eating that. Give me my worm. Hee <laughs> hee, little dog. Yeah, we'll give you a little worm. That's a good one. He's gonna eat. There we go. That's a nice one there. Yes. Wow, great big fat one. Oop, catch and release. I don't like to show you guys that one. Could either upsize or downsize. Let's try upsize him. Because he's worth catching. We could find him again. He hit it. Hit it twice. 
he's about to hit it a third time. Got him. Chunky. Man, they can pull for their size. Nice one. Big old panfish. Good fish there, guys. That's another in that nine inch range. This one just barely touches nine. But what a beautiful fish. Look how fat he is. Crappie. Nice crappie. Right at the end of that tree where he's supposed to be. Oh no, dropped him right there. Let's get serious with these crappie for a second. Yeah. Got him. We're going to try to swing him instead of just flip him. All right, that's better. Nice crappie right there. Pretty good eater size. Got him on the triple tickle tail. This thing just has so much action for a little tiny swim bait. You could work it crazy slow, which is what you need to do to get these bites right now. There it is. <laughs> Just barely dropping. That's a really nice crappie right there. Trying to get them turned. But just barely dropping that, so it's just barely moving. Nice crappie. That's a pet. that's a slab size. Good eater right there.
that guy jumped on it. Don't think we got a crappie there. I think we got a smallmouth bass. Yeah, yeah, we got a smallie. Trying to keep him out of that tree with this three pound test. They just fight so harder, so much harder than three pounds. He is working his way into that tree. Yeah, nice little smallie. Ultra light gear makes it even more fun. But you never know what you're going to catch when you throw something small like that. Really not a bad fish at all. Let's see if we can get one more out of this. Triple tickle tail. Might get a squirrel up there. Another crappy. Right at the end of that tree where he's supposed to be. Right where my buddy Wayne taught me to throw. Not a bad guy right there. We'll probably throw him back. Looking for a little bit bigger fillet than that. There he is. Another good one. He wants to jump. There he goes. Not a bad fish right there. That's that triple tickle tail by Kalins. And I, I cut it down a little bit just because they're they're a little finicky today and and it's easier to make it smaller than make it bigger, but that's just a pretty fish right there, guys. Let's get him back. Going for a little bit bigger on the eater scale. Might be able to get another fish or two out of this. I should show you the live scope that I'm looking at. All right, I'm recording. I'm recording for you on the um, on the helm app for the live scope. So you can see what I'm looking at is we got a tree. And that's the end of the branches. And you can see fish kind of circulating in, in and out of it. And there's my lure going to come down. That's my lure coming down. We got a follower. He's followed me. Oh, and he just hit. Then I missed him. But he's still on it. Still got two on it. So even though my bait's messed up, I'm going to drop it to him and see if he hits it again. Nope, he did not want it that time. Alright. So let's fix our bait, get right back in there and see if we can catch one of those two fish that just gave us a good look. Now that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing on the live scope make sure my baits run good yep run nice all right so they're right inside of the end of that tree that you're looking at and you're about you see my bait entering right now just above the tree so we got we got one fired up right there he's not on it yet he's looking at it another one coming back into the tree i'm hooked on a branch definitely hooked on a branch you can see the branch i caught All right, we got it off the branch. And with the live scope, I shouldn't have caught that branch. All right, let's throw another one of those on. That's a two inch triple tickle tail by Kalins. 
they're pretty deadly. They um, they just have so much vibration and, and action. And a lot of times I like to cut a little bit off of them. Get them down to like an inch and three quarters. Maybe as small as an inch and a half. And these are great because this is, this is like a pumpkin seed color. It's got an orange belly, green back, and a chartreuse tail. So that's what these guys are feeding on right now, our baby, little baby bluegill, baby pumpkin seed. So there's, you should see my bait start entering. Right about now, that's me coming over. I'm not seeing any fish anymore. But I think there's some fish really, really tight to that limb, so I'm gonna throw right into it. That's me dropping on top of it now. I'm gonna slowly pull it away so it doesn't land in the branches. And that slow pull is just enough action for these fish. That's me coming over that stick again. All right, so we got nothing on the screen, so now we're gonna all right, there's a fish right there at 34 foot. Let's throw out to him. Give these guys in the tree a little break. Yeah, we got one coming in pretty hot on, a, on my bait right now. Two coming in hot. Got a bite while I was dinking around. Oh, those are white perch out there. All right. So we're putting the species together today, guys. That's a uh, fourth species already. Got another one or two more we can catch. But nice white perch. That's a good eating fish. Uh, usually I like them a little bit bigger. But you know what? We're cutting up fish tonight. Let's bring him home. All right, let's see what's back in this tree. There's something beyond the tree. I just landed on him. Let's see if he bites. It's on me. Two on me now. Here they come. Ah, I missed him. See if he keeps coming. Oh man, we wrapped around our tip and we got a fish. We're in deep trouble on this one, guys. Oh man. So I'm wrapped around my, my tip pretty bad and I got a really nice crappie on. Let's see if we can land him. Ready for the swing? Nice. Really nice black crappie. Mating season, they, they really show out their colors and their their calico and and how uh, their patterns really nicely. But that's a pretty good one right there. We'll uh, we'll take him home. Let's see what the heck happened up here. I do not know how that happens. All right, like a guide back, we got to wrap. So weird. There we go. All right, we're back in business. Let's see if we can get one on the live scope. 
Here they comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He missed it. I'm going to drop it and see if he comes back. I saw him flash on it. Totally missed it. Totally missed it. Let's see if we can get him to come back. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Shoot. Operator error. My line jumped on that one. If you don't get them out on the tip of the tree, there's a good chance you get them in the crotch of the tree like that one. Those are the, tr the spots on the trees you really want to focus if you have a lay-down tree. Well, pretty nice one here. He's a good eater size right there. A little on the smaller end, he's probably he's probably pushing 11 or so. Let's take a peek. Yeah, he's uh, almost 12. So and that's on the smaller end of the ones we've been keeping. We got one. Oh, that's a nicer one. Definitely a nicer one there. So, a lot of those fish that I had out near the tip of the tree, I think just moved into the tree and they hide in amongst those crotches. It's cool to watch them try to try to jump and they just open their mouth. This one's got some meat on them. Swing him in. Another pretty good fish right there. I don't think I'm gonna keep any more out of this tree after this one, just so there's more in this tree when I come back. But I don't mind catching them. So let's get another one out of that crotch if we can. And the key is with this triple tickle tail is to is just slowly moving it. You almost pendulum. You know, I'm not really real in a bunch. And when I get to those high probability spots, I just kind of hold my rod tip up a little bit, ever so slightly moving it forward. So the, the bait's actually moving pretty quick through the strike zone as it kind of pendulums down. And then every one of those little tiny tentacles on the side is moving. So when that fish goes up to take a really close look at it in this semi-clear water, um, he sees movement and he, and he sees something maybe trying to get away from him and triggers that strike And then of course you got the paddle tail always moving if that baits moving at all because it's just such a, a nice little finesse presentation but let's uh, See if there's anything on this tree Haven't really worked this tree too much since that smallmouth And that's just kind of like the pendulum there and then when I do engage my reel I'm just reeling in the slack by lowering my tip like that. So that bait's just ever so slightly moving. We got like, I don't know what that is, maybe a sixteenth of a weight on there. Maybe a little bit less, but. There he saw it. Yep, he got it. Oh, he, he chomped that. He was surface eating. All right, that tells me something right there. This, this one just turned me down. And then when I yank the worm in front of him, that's a nice one there. Big bullheaded pumpkin seed. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. And when I when I yank that worm in front of him, obviously it brings it to the top with no weight. And then he pounced on it. So he's done. This one, when they're suspended like that, I guess they're looking at the surface. And you're going to want to work the surface a little bit harder. So lesson learned. You know, every one of these fish gives you a little bit more information to use. All right, he's gonna be just at nine exactly right there. So another nine incher, super super pretty fish. Um, I'd get a picture of it, but I think I'm running the live scope, so we'll get him back.
Nice crappie there. All over it. Got him. Nice. Nice. Got to see that guy eat on the live scope. And it's a nice pumpkin seed. Yes. Beautiful pumpkin seed right there. It'll lip on him. Well, that's another in that nine inch range. It was cool throwing to him on the live scope. You're gonna sight fish him one way or another. Either with our eyes or directly looking at him or looking at him through a screen. And I prefer looking at him directly, but <clears throat> Sometimes they don't let you. Crappy. Nice 12 incher, maybe a little bigger. All right, guys, we're back into a tree. And we're going to try to get to the tip of the tree. Got him. What a nice crappie. Well, let's see how big that one is. That's a pretty good size fish right there. He's going to be in that 12 range, I imagine. Maybe a little bigger. Yep, he's 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter. Good size right there, good eating size, but we're starting to get a decent amount in the in the bucket. We want to leave some for other people and we want to leave some if we come back and got him. Another nice crappie. That's that triple tail just doing work right there, guys. Another nice slab. Nice. I'm flying out of the brush for that one. All right. Another in that 12 range. That's pretty good eater size there. We'll take him.
nice one there guys that one followed on the live scope that's a pretty big one there that might be our master angler if we can get him flipped in here just got to get a 13 inches all today they've all uh we're on like a pretty good class of fish here they're all like 12 and a quarter 12 and a half this one might stretch it yep he does so we're gonna get him entered into the fish donkey let's get over to fish donkey enter a fish and then you gotta get one with you holding it and then you gotta get one release in it so here's a 13 uh, quarter inch crappy going back there it goes And then we're going to hit submit, and it's as easy as that. Oh, got him. Let's see what this is. Nice white. Ah. Oh, it's a crappy. All right. Got that one on the live scope. That one was out offshore, but That was cool. I knew they were in there. I could see them with the live scope. <laughs> right in the middle of that brush. That's a pretty good slab right there. That's another in that 13 inch range. We'll take him home and eat him. Yes. Oh. Well, kiss me to tears. That would have worked out nice. There he is. Got him. <laughs> That's why that trick is so important. Because we keep the boat out of the air and very minimum with a rod hitting the water to spook him. And you still pop good crappy like that.
Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Almost lost a rod on a big... <laughs> I had a worm, I guess, hanging over the edge. Didn't even know it. And this guy almost took the whole dang thing. I don't think he would have got too far. But that's another nice one. That's probably the biggest of the day. We got nine and a half. Nine and a half, getting bigger. Another nice crappie. Well, that triple tickle tail is killing them today. Nice. Another beauty right there, guys. Nice thick crappie. Would have never known they're out there if I didn't have that live scope. There's a, looks like a piece of brush or a top of a tree right there. And they are thick on it. And they look like some pretty good marks too. Just coming into it now. Gonna get a bite right now. Another nice one. This is a lot of fun. Those are some slab crappy right there. That's a pretty good one there. One of the better ones of the day. Nice fish. We probably have 10 or 12 in the live well to bring home, so we're going to throw him back. But they are not even hesitating on this triple tail. This thing is like finesse killer right there coming into the tree right on the top of it right now see if we get any lookers we got a looker we got two lookers coming in hot pretty good size ah, I watched him eat right there got to watch him eat right at the boat it was cool I'd probably have that lure inside the boat right now if I didn't no, he was following. Another really nice slab. A lot of meat on that guy. We might end up bringing him home. He looks tasty. Yeah, that's a nice thick, thick slab right there in the probably 13 inch range. Got him on the triple tickle tail. They are tight to that bush now. They know something's up.
about to get a bite. Oh, I did, and I missed him. Gonna have a bite here in about three, two, one. Nibbling. These are not tiny fish either. There's some some pretty good ones in this. As you can see, I'm bringing them to the boat, which I only like to do when they're hooked. Oh, this one's about to be hooked. Oh no, you idiot. Don't do that. Don't do the one thing you can never do is hook the brush pile. Yeah, that was cool. What a cool strike. He came flying up on the live scope to eat that. He's like, you're not getting away. And the irony is, he didn't get away. Nice slab right there. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Nice one, nice one. That's a pretty chunky slab there. Good fish. That's a really nice one. Big school out there on a brush pile or something. Oh, that might be the biggest of the day. Yeah, that's a really big one. Really nice fish right there, guys. That's that's got to be well over the 13 mark, I'd say. Yep, 13 and a half. Just under a half. But nice fish. We'll, uh, we'll make a meal out of that one too. We've got a cork and brush pile out there that's going to gonna catch a lot of fish out of this brush pile. 40 feet away. Big cut, no contact. Caught everything but the fish.
another nice one. Got him on the lift. Oh, you son of a gun. He got me. Got him. All right. Another nice one. That's a heavy one. Nice crappie there. slab right there guys another really nice fish thick through well we got a school right here right here on us yep brought the school in with them oh it's a pumpkin too and it is a decent pumpkin. I was not expecting him out of there. On the triple tail. That's a nice nine incher. Chunky, chunky. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. One pound fish. He was hooked, too. All right. Nice chunker right there. Nice. Got some offshore pumpkin seed. Some big ones too. Golly. All right, these are your post spawners right here. Hooping like crazy. Oh, did we lose them? They're a little bit to the right. Got him. That one's not. That's not a pumpkin seed. That's a crappy. And he's a pretty nice one. Beauty. Not much left of this triple tickle tail. Wow. got him boy it's a hot and heavy bite right now that's a that's a good one there that's a chunky crappy slab daddies smashing 12 13 inch crappies like nothing we gotta get a new bait this is what they're eating and you can see why when i show you the colors of those pumpkin seeds this thing pretty much matches them perfect this is called the wally world but if you look at it, we're going to take off, probably take off about a half inch. And it looks a lot like fry. It matches the pumpkin seeds colors just about perfect with that orange belly and green blue back and a little bit of chartreuse on the tail. Can't really get a better match than that. We got a school right here now though. We don't have to cast very far to catch a fish right now.
Yep, got him. Wow, can't these guys fight? Wow. Look at the colors on this one. Absolutely amazing. Just beautiful. One pound fish. I mean, these are just straight up eight and a half, nine inches. Well, this guy don't want to be measured, so <laughs> we'll get him back. But what we're on, some post spawners. We got some post spawners that are pulled up off the bank and uh, sitting out here in about six foot of water on an edge. And the crappie brought them in. Let's be honest, the crappie catching crappie every cast just about brought them in. But there's my worm. Let's see if somebody sees it yet. All right, you just saw it. There's the bite. Got him. Pretty cool to watch that on the live scope, isn't it, guys? And the fight is just amazing on these guys. They really know how to use their shoulders. Really light line and... These are like pounders. Pretty awesome chunky pounders right there. Now they're in that nine, nine plus range. Let's keep, oh, we lost them on the live scope. Let's see if they just moved a little bit. Yeah, it looks like out that way. Looks like they're trying to get on the move. I'm gonna try to get to them before they get too far. There's my worm. That's my worm that just went up and down. So nothing seen it yet, but it's about to. All right, here we go. Should be any second now. Oh yeah, he just saw it. There's a nibble. Oh, I let him get, I let him get me. Dang it. There he is. Just like that. Smashing big pumpkin seed off the banks, off the beds. And uh, really, really, really nice school of them out here. Post spawn. And they are just thick, thick fish. Thick as a brick. Beautiful. Beautiful fish right there. Nice crappie. Got that deep brush pile out there. They are just stacked in it. Another big one. Get in here. Whoa. Yeah, he's well over 13. Another nice one. Nice one there. Oh, there's my pumpkin seeds out there at 32. Another decent crappie right here, guys. Another over 13. Beauty. Nice slab. So all I'm really doing is just getting this 
right over the brush pile and just keeping it moving slowly forward and I'm not setting right away when they hit I'm giving them a half a second to get it into a little bit of meat in their mouth <laughs> 